welcome back to my channel so welcome back to all um, subscribers and welcome to every new subscriber I want to say thank you all for following along and um, if you know me you know me if you don't I am Joelle I'm a Christian life coach and I am here to help you with faith content self-advice life development and whatever God put on my heart to coach you on Last week I spoke about uh, closed doors. I encourage you, I talked about my experience. I encourage you to go back and um, listen to that and also tell me about your closed doors. If you have been experiencing any closed doors, if uh, you have experienced closed doors, how are you dealing with it through prayers? What is this one big Bible verse that really touched your heart? regarding closed doors um so um i would love to hear it from you and to hear your story and tell me more about um your um stories in the comment don't forget to hit the subscribe button i try to post on sundays um i've been i've been having a little difficulties filming and posting but um it is during the weekend that i actually post today's video is actually another experience um, about me that I went through with God which was um, I learned to love Jesus so my prayer changed so let me tell you all about it Jesus. Does that mean I didn't love him? Yes, I loved him, but um, I learned to love him in a different way. Does that mean, so my prayers changed. Does that mean there is um, a proper way to pray? There is a wrong way and a right way? Yes, there is. And the Bible instructs us. I'm not going into um, so many Bible verses today in this video, but yes, the Bible instructs us there is a proper way to pray. And one most important one is to pray from all your heart and not from your mouth. So, um, something that you might know about me is that I was a fashion influencer before I become a Christian influencer. So every time I examine myself and every time I recall the story, I learn something new. And I encourage you today to always examine your, um, your stories and your experiences so you may learn something new about yourself, about your faith, about uh, your faith journey, and even about Jesus. So if you have experienced something like that, write it in the comments. I would love to hear it. So as I said, I used to be about two years ago or a little more um, a fashion influencer. When I came to faith, I knew I have a different path, like the Lord has a different path for me, which was to be a Christian influencer and that's what I was led to. Um, so I got my um, degree from the Institute for Coach uh, Training and I became a Christian life coach and that's what I've been doing. But back then, so back then I had this um, confusion between do I continue my fashion page or I go completely into Christian life coaching. Now deep inside I know this was my passion. My passion was to be a fashion influencer and this is my desire. And also I knew that God is calling me to become a Christian life coach so I may help others through the stories I went through and through prayers and the Holy Spirit, etc. So what happened was I prayed on it. So I learned from the beginning any confusion, I know this is not from God, I should get and uh, pray on it. So I was praying and fasting. And um, praying and fasting, I was praying this way, Lord, take it away from me. I was like, Lord, if you don't want me to be a fashion influencer, take it away from me and lead me to completely be a Christian influencer. And here I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a fashion influencer, but here I know there's something from God different than my will because you know we pray your will be done. My will was to be a fashion influencer but I knew God was calling me to do something else. So there's nothing wrong with being a fashion influencer. Please don't take me wrong. This is my story and this is something I truly learned um, 
throughout my journey to, to, to pray in a different way. So if you're a fashion influencer, you go for it. God bless you. So anyways, um, so I was confused, like which one I should go, I should, I should do. So what happened was I started praying on it and fasting. And this is the way I used to pray. I used to tell God, God, please take away the fashion influencing page for me and lead me to become a Christian influencer only. So my words were, Lord, take it away from me. Until one time I ran into this verse, we all know this verse. Um, Love the Lord from all your heart, all your mind and your soul. So when I read this verse, I'm like, Lord, I love you so much. Please take that passion away from me because I want to be focused on becoming Christian influencer, being both. So at some point I was doing both at the same time, but this is when I was tired, I was confused, I was hectic. It was it was a lot to film both both sides. And I felt like I have one foot in the flesh and another foot in the spirit, which also not from God. Um, so what happened was, um, so I read this verse and then again. So for about six months, I was convinced that this is what God wanted me to do. Because if he wanted this to be, to um to stop he would have taken it away from me and the reason why i say this i will talk about this later because i had um the the i had the desire to drink alcohol a lot and i did wake up one day that's in the beginning of my faith um that desire to drink was taken away okay i did not pray on it i did not fast on it i don't even know how did that happen well i know it's the spirit of god but what i'm saying when i said because I have experienced this. I'm like, okay, Lord, the way you dealt with the alcohol, deal with this now. So for about six months, I was convinced if God doesn't want me, didn't want me to do this, he will take it away from me. Until I, so as I said, I was, I was getting very tired of doing both at the same time. I know my heart is for being a Christian influencer. Uh, sorry, my heart is for being a Christian influencer and for being fashion influencer. So... Uh, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. If you can do it, you go for it. And if you're doing well with it, God bless you. So until I had a dream of the same verse um, was written on the wall, love the Lord from all your heart and all your mind and all your soul. So I was like, okay, well, this verse had to do something with me like the Lord is trying to speak to me the Lord is speaking to me so what is it and I kept seeing this verse over and over and over in visions I'm like okay um, let me see let me see what is happening here so because two uh, that was about two years ago two years and a half ago two years and a half ago I was not as spiritual as I am right now yes we can grow spiritually and that is through reading the Bible um, uh, learning about, uh, learning to, getting to know Jesus, not just know about Jesus, etc. So, there are, yes, we do grow spiritually throughout the years, throughout our experiences, our faith journey, what God speaks to us, and all that stuff. So, two years and a half ago, I was not as spiritual as I am right now. And I was not even close to God as the way I am right now. So, to understand this, I took this verse and I put it into action. I put it into action and I put it in an earthly action. So the verse says, love the Lord from all your heart, your mind and soul. Okay, very good. And I did love the Lord from all my heart, love and all my heart, mind and soul. So I took this verse and I put it into an earthly action. And I said, I loved my husband. I love my husband a lot, that I left everything in Lebanon for him to come to the U.S. to be with him and to get married and um, to start a new life with him. My mind was not, my, my me, myself, Joel, was not spiritual enough and was not highly spiritual to understand this unless I put it into an earthly action. And I said, well, I love my husband. Yeah, I loved him from all my heart, mind and soul. And that's why we got married. We had love. We loved each other. That I left Lebanon. And if you know me, you know me. You know how much I love to live in Lebanon. And I left Lebanon. I was there for seven years. And I came to the U.S. to be with him to start a new chapter in my life 
and new family and to start a new life okay and this is at an earthly level I took that verse and I read it again love the Lord from all your heart your mind and your soul this is when the big question came do I love Jesus and the big answer was no because my prayers were take it away from me I could not give it to the Lord I gave up my life in Lebanon and everything I had there for my husband to come to get married and to begin a new chapter with him but I was not able to give up my fashion page for the Lord to start a new chapter in being a Christian influencer the big answer was no no and this is when I learned to love Jesus I learned to love him I read this verse again it says again love the Lord from all your heart your mind and your soul this is when my prayer changed instead of Lord take away the passion for being a fashion influencer to Lord I give you that passion for being a fashion influencer I place it at the foot of the cross help me and this is when everything changed everything changed because I learned to love Jesus everything changed because I I gave it to him just how I gave up everything in my earthly life to be with my future husband I also had to give up everything for the Lord to begin a new chapter in being a Christian influencer I learned something beautiful about Jesus in this story that he does not do anything to harm us he knew I was not ready for this to be taken away from me so he did not take it away from me he knew I wasn't ready to face this until I truly understand until I truly love him until I learn how to pray he did not take that from me he waited until I was ready to give it to him and that's what I learned and that's how my prayers changed my prayers changed from Lord take it away from me to Lord I give it to you I'm gonna place I place it at the foot of the cross help me help me heal that desire help me see you and only you because when I say your will be done meaning your will be done when I gave it to the Lord when I put it at the foot of the cross right after that everything became easy I stopped what I was doing I took more classes coaching classes and I became a Christian influencer and Christian life coach and I coached so many one-on-one -on -one people and this was the new beginning with Jesus I learned to love him I know very well that God's will could not be fulfilled in my life unless I came to the cross and I gave him that old uh, passion and desire so his will will be fulfilled in my life to be a Christian life coach and a Christian influencer so if I was still holding on to that passion his will would never been fulfilled in my life I had to let go and I knew that he's got a better plan for me and here I am today question back to you today do you love Jesus are you willing to give him your desire or your passion or anything you're going through so his will would be fulfilled in your life are you willing to do that
We tend to love Jesus in so many different ways, but there's only one way. Love him from all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Through his word, through praying, through fasting, and through complete obedience, through following the command that he left us. I don't love Jesus because my life has been perfect or it has been butterflies and rainbows. I love Jesus because he has taken all the things that I did wrong and all the wrong that was done to me. He took all that and turned it to my own good. Romans 28, 8, it says, he uses all things together for my good. And I cannot live a life without acknowledging him.